Timmy Nestler, president of the local. Welcome okay. to the facility. We own the building. Hi, my name is Tim Nestler. I'm the president of the IM Local 368, which is an air transport local, representing 800 active with over 2,000 retired members at three base locations of West Palm, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami International Airports. I myself have nearly 35 years of service, currently working full-time at Fort Lauderdale with American Airlines as a fleet serviceman. The IAM union proudly represents over 100,000 air transportation workers, more than any other union in North America. Local 368 represents members at American Airlines with mechanics, fleet service, and tower workers, Southwest Airlines customer service, Spirit Airlines ramp service, United Airlines fleet service, customer service, and storekeepers. Bahamas Air Customer Service, British Airways Customer Service, Alaska Airlines Customer Service, and UGE. Now today is a pretty special day at this local. It is proudly hosting the South Florida AFL-CIO Worker Organizing Roundtable as several unions have come to our historic union hall to discuss issues they see as important. Our union local, 368 Hall, has been representing union members for some 70 years in South Florida. Since we are very close to the Miami International Airport, the Florida AFL-CIO chose our location for today's meetings to meet with the United States Secretary of Labor, Marty Walsh. Our sisters and brothers may not know that our Secretary of Labor, Walsh, is also a card-carrying Labor's union member, which makes him a powerful ally to the union movement. Secretary of Labor Walsh spoke about improving the heat standard language, which would be very beneficial to airline workers and other people who work outside. He also touched on the American Rescue Plan and how it is extremely labor friendly. Jeffrey, thank you for having us and the ILWU and all the unions that are here today. Thank you, machinists and everyone else. But we're also doing a heat standard in OSHA in the Department of Labor. And what does that mean? We're setting down a rule on what heat is and how we move forward. And it's a, it's a long process. And we're in the process of doing that right now, understanding the need for legislation and the need for rules that protect workers because certain employers won't protect their workers. We're also working to, thanks to the Congresswoman's efforts in the American Rescue Plan, we're getting more money for ETA, we're getting more money for wage and hour, we're getting more money for OSHA to hire up to make sure that workers have a safe work condition. Congressman Frederica Wilson of Florida's 24th District attended as well. She primarily spoke about workers' rights, the PRO Act, and health care, and heat stress. But Democrats want to fix this public health crisis. That's why I'm a proud sponsor to advance the Heat Illness and Fatality Prevention Act to protect workers and ensure that they have access to water, limits on heat exposure, emergency response measures, and paid breaks in cool places. We also were proud to have in our hall for the meeting the mayor of Miami, the Honorable Daniela Levin Cava. She spoke about the dangerous heat days that are happening here in South Florida and how Miami is number two in the nation. This is a very important topic for Local 368 as we represent many in this part of the state. In closing, I want to say this was a fantastic meeting and having such pro-union and high-ranking political leaders visit Local 368 to talk about organizing was truly helpful to the unions that attended. The Machinist Union knows how to organize. The current Machinist Union organizing campaign for JetBlue, Ground Ops, is one example. Local 368 and its membership stands ready to assist these 3,000 workers on winning their election vote for the Machinist Union. Stay strong, sisters and brothers.